fulfilling its purposes. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord God. Bless the Lord. All right. So let's go ahead and open up if there's anybody that has an opening song on their hearts. Anything they want to say at this time, you may do so. Opening song, uh, prayer, scripture, whatever you brought with you today, you can go ahead and, and share. Oh, my soul will sing. 
and grateful because yes. you first woke us up this morning. Yes. You let us yes. see another day yes. in the land of the living. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. He is so wonderful and merciful. He's a healer and our protector, our provider. He's our everything. Yes. And we are thankful to the Lord God for this day, for just bringing us here to the Gift of God Worship Center. On today, I just want to give the Lord thanks, for we can't thank Him enough, for He just continues to bless and keep and do all that we need Him to do, right? Yes. So, Lord God, we thank you on this day. We thank you that you continue to heal our families. You watch over those that are in the hospitals. You watch over those in the nursery homes, Lord God. You watch over us as we are in our dwelling places. Lord God, you provide for us. You feed us and clothe us and keep us. And most of all, Lord God, you give us a big dose, Lord God. Woo, a big dose of your grace and mercy every day. And we are so thankful to the Lord God. And we bless you, Lord, in Jesus' name we say, amen. Thank you, Lord God. Is there anyone else who has anything they want to share? Amen. I want to thank you. Thank you, Lord, for coming up to the church. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank the Lord and say this is my first time here and it won't be my last time. I will come back again. I'm glad to be with the sisters and the brothers that here at this church. Thank you, Lord God. And I thank you so much. Amen. Uh, you all pray. My strength in the Lord, and I will do the same for you. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord God. I'd like to give honor to God who's ahead of my life. Amen. Amen. I'd like to give honor to God who's ahead of my life. Thank you, you know, amen. Thank God for my Apostle Brown and Christ. Amen. And thank God for the shepherd and everybody in their prospective places in this house, Father God. Thank you, and I thank God for good leadership. Amen. amen. Because, you know, you got to be able to follow Christ, amen. but we need leadership. Amen. amen. We know that we brought with a price, but some, some of us don't know that we brought with a price. Amen. And some of us don't believe we need leadership, headship of our lives, amen? amen? Because the word said if you could do it for yourself, you would have been done it. So I just thank God, amen, on today amen. for each and every one that's here and all the followers of Christ in Jesus' name. I pray daily, amen? Amen. amen. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. I want to give mom to God, my Savior, my Savior Jesus Christ, for just being in my life and I ask him right now that he will cover this circle with the blood of the Lamb. Amen. And that we all might meet together. Amen. Thank you. One of these old days. Yes. I thank God today, you know, for grace and mercy. I thank him for the time that I was laid down at the house sleep when I could have been in the house of prayer. But I too far fit to stay at home. But then when you think Feel about that, that thing. All that God has done for you all we long. Mm -hmm. And we still sit down on Sundays. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we will. We sit down on Mondays. Yes. Not only Sunday, but Sunday is a, they call this a extra day. Yes. Okay, what is it for? It's for you to go out and get on your knees Amen. and pray to God that we've been helping you all week long. All week long. All week long and you know, have mercy on you all week. And then on Sunday, you can't say thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I just give him the glory him because the glory. he is so real within my life. Yes, he Lord. just keeps me when I know that I can't keep myself. Yes, Lord. Yes. I thank you, Lord. I'm going to say this prayer. Not, not this prayer, but a song. Amen. But I... I think it's a prayer for me. Amen. Mm -hmm. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. For right now.
to express your gratitude you. for God for everything that he has done for us. Yes. So, thank you, my God. I guess I'll just thank God for me to be here with my church family Amen. and get to do a new church family. Amen. And Amen. I hope that you can feel the love that we felt in church Amen. all week. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And we have some trying times. Yeah. But, but God's been good to us and you know we're happy to be here to to share the love. Amen. 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 We bless the Lord. Amen. 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 Deep. <laughs> 
Yes, yes. That was deep right there. Yes. That's how you know that the Lord has been with you. Yes. From the beginning. Yes. He says, I am the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Oh my goodness, Lord God. I don't know what happened to me when I saw these faces when I came to be here today, Lord God. But I just got so excited because I was I, I thought I was gonna miss service today, for one, because I was on military duty and I thought I was gonna get out at 12 and I thought I would be able to be on my way and be here on time. But bless the Lord, for he is always working things out yes. for the good of them that love him. Yes. Ain't that something? Yes. Like we're, we're just getting into the service. Yes. Like the Lord say, I love those I love, I take care of. Yes. Man, he has blessed me on this day to be here on his time. Yes. How about that? Yes. We're here on his time, not our time. Amen? Amen? So I'm just thankful just to be present here in the place of worship on today. Yes. All right. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. First, give honor to the Lord who was, is, and always will be the head of my life. Amen. You know, to the shepherd of this house, when he's absent, you know, Pastor Brown, you know, and we have been learning through is love. Amen. We have been learning That's love, right. you know, yeah. through the week, you know. Yeah. See, you know, God loves all. That's right. Yes, he and I like to read yeah. this yes, from Matthew 25, mm -hmm. 35. Amen. For I was hungry, and you gave me meat. Uh -oh. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. Uh -oh. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous ask him, saying, Lord, when saw, ye, when saw we thou hungry and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? When saw we thou a stranger and took thou in, or naked and clothed him? Or when saw thou sick, or in prison, and came unto him? Mm -hmm. And then the king shall answer and say unto them, mm -hmm. Early I say unto you, mm -hmm. and as much as you have done this unto one of the least yes, of your brothers, so you is. have done it unto to me. Come on, tell you know? See, and that stick with me because through the lifetime, you know, people yes. don't want to look out for one another. Yes. No more. You know, they always want to say, just because I don't know you, you know, that I, I don't have to deal with you. But that is not how God led us to be. You know, God led us to love everyone. Everybody. We even love our enemies. How God yes. said, you know, love your enemy. Yes. You That's know? Right. And That's I will make him your yes. pussy. You see, now me, mm -hmm. as in my house, you know, I love the Lord. Mm -hmm. I was brought up in the old school way, you know. Grandmother always kept us in church, you know. Mm -hmm. Sunday through Saturday, mm -hmm. you know. If we wanted a church house, we was in somebody's house that praising the Lord, oh, you, got that. you know. Right. But we always would stay up in the church. No, why you you know. ain't got no spirit. See, that's why I tell people, you know, that I, I, I take notes of, of, of way folks act. You know, women folks, they don't mind telling one another, we love you. Mm -hmm. sure Strangers are not. <laughs> but men, they feel that if that is a, is a sin for them to tell another man, I love you, mm -hmm. you know. But that is not what God say. Mm -hmm. You know, God said you got to have love in your heart for everyone, you know. But how can you love me when you I'm never see, but cannot love your brother who you see every day, you know. Because I, um, I was at a store one day, and uh, this guy I know from a while back, he came up, he gave me a uh, little bracelet with the cross on it, you know. I said, well, thanks, man, and I love you. You know, he looked at me, he hugged me, he said, oh, he hugged me, he said, you know, you don't hear many men saying that, you know. I, but it's not the idea of men saying it, it's the idea of God putting it in your heart to say it. Amen. Amen. But if you can't feel God in your heart, see, then you're not worthy of God, you know. That's why I tell people, you know, me, you know, I know I tell the story every time, you know, that I have learned, you know, that God will, he will 
Because when you get time to the point where you will want to think, you know, to, to do things yourself, God will step back and let you do stuff All day. on your own. All day. But yet and still, <laughs> he will stay to be there with you, but he's going to let you see that you can't come. Me, now, I'm a 13-year clean A, you know. But when I was coming up, you know, I would sit there and say, you know, and that's how I tell people, you know, I saw it as if God said, well, my child, you're being hard-headed, I'm going to step back, and I'm going to let you see if you can do this on your own, but I'm going to be there with you, but I'm going to give you the opportunity to do this on your own, you know. And then I saw at a point in time when he stepped in and said, well, I see you ain't going to be able to do this, so I'm going to take over, you know. God will take over when he sees you not living right, you know. He will put you on that right path, you know. See, now as of today, you know, I tell people, you know, I'm not ashamed of my age, you know. I'm 63 years old, you know. Never been into a doctor, never been in a hospital, never been on no kind of medication, you know. And I tell people that is not me. That's not me. That's God, you know. Because God got favor in all of us, you know. God can take the downtrodden, you know, and make him a worshiper. You know, God can use anybody. You know, I tell people quick, you know, you can't sit there and say just because this person is doing this that God can't use him yet. God can use him maybe better than he can use you. And you have been in the church for 99 years, Come on, you know. Man. But yet still, he ain't never been in the church. But God can use him more than he can use you, you know. Because that's what God wants. God wants the downtrodden, you know, where he can uplift them and show the people his glory Amen. of what he can do. Amen. And I just ask y'all to know the, the praise of the Lord and pray for me and my family and I do the same for y'all. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. That's it. The first thing Glad that you need to think about when you're thinking about God is that what? He gave. Yes. Mm -hmm. He gave. It don't matter what comes after that. It's that he gave. He gave. So look at all the things that he gave after that. You got a billion and one, and you still probably won't get them all in there. Because we don't know everything that he has given, the seen and the unseen, the known and the unknown. Bless the Lord, for he is a giver. Thank you today. I don't, I don't, bless me. Oh, I hate you. Yes. I hate you. Because I got down. Pastor. Yes, he is. I got a Oh, yes, they are. That's how I do it. Go ahead and turn it. I need. 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 I need
Let's go find something. Let's see. You can't fuck with going to a song, can you? <laughs> so let's go to Psalm 150. Let me just throw that number out there. Psalm 150. Oh, and it is one. That's the last one, ain't it? All right. Um, Old Testament reading. Psalms 150. And thank you to the sister right there, because she just answered this one right here, didn't she? It says, praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Verse 2. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Verse 3. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Verse 4. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Verse 5. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Verse 6. Let everything that hath breath Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Thank you. God is in the working business and he Amen. deserves all the praise, all the thanks, yeah. all the glory. And I, I heard somebody say something earlier and I, um, I just wanted to add, somebody was talking about the, how much time God gives us or I think it was my mom, Deacon Goodrich, that was talking about, you know, we did we did what we wanted all week, and then we come here today and praise the Lord. But um, I just wanted to add to that, because I had to, like, minister to my little grandbaby over here. And so I came up with this analogy for her. I said, look, at, this is the day the Lord has made, right? Amen. We will rejoice and be glad in it, right? Amen. So I told her that every day God gives us 24 hours, right? Amen. So I had to tell her, you can give him back one of those hours. Amen. You can give, a, give him back one of those hours. You don't got to wait till Sunday. You don't got to wait till Wednesday. Amen. You can praise him every day. Every day. For every day, he gives us a constant gift of yes, grace and mercy. Yes, he you know, so thank the Lord. Amen. All right, I think we're ready. Hey, Pastor! Hey. <laughs> to get started now. Glad to see Pastor here today, Pastor John. So let us give prayer and thanks to the Lord for our pastor on this day. Lord, we are so thankful and grateful for you, Lord God, first of all, because you are the one who leads, guides, and directs. Yes. Lord God, you are the one who's a constant giver, yes. a lover of our soul, and you put your men and women of God in place so that they may come and give us What's thus says the Lord. So, Lord God, we ask that you will allow our pastor to decrease so that you may increase in him so that he can bring forth what thus says the Lord. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we bless you, Lord God, and we say amen. 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 Pastor John. Let's give him a hand. to the Almighty God. Okay. Let's give the Lord God a hand clap of praise on today. Um, we're Because the Lord is worthy to be praised. Now, of course, he had the gift from God Worship Center. If y'all have been watching our videos, y'all know that this is crucial time now. Amen. We are crucial with the word of God. And the reason we are that way here at the Gift of God Worship Center because I know that we have but a short time left. 
So as I walk out about and on the street throughout the week doing my daily ministry, I be seeing that a lot of the saints have taken the mark of the beast. So now our job as saints, once you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth that God raised Christ from the dead, you are supposed to be a what? A workman for Christ. Amen. Amen. You are given a assignment. Yes. Right? Amen. And you're going to be held accountable. If you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, that God rose him from the dead and did not pick up your cross and follow him, you're going to be held accountable. Right? Amen. Amen. And we talked about all of the things now that a lot of the saints are doing at the end of the grace. Uh -huh. Jesus. We're at the end of the grace for Christ's second coming and the people that claim they know God is doing everything under the sun. So today, I want to go through this book of the Hebrews. We're going to go through the book of the Hebrews. Let's get Hebrews chapter 1 real quick. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. Minister Tony, want to start off reading for us today? Thank you. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. God, who had sin dry times in divers manner, spake in time past unto the father by the prophet. Uh -huh. Verse 2. Have in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom have appointed heirs of all things, by whom also made the word world. Verse 3. I'll read that two again. Have in these last days spoken. In these last days. Last he had what? Days. He had spoken unto by his son. Uh huh. Whom he have appointed heir of all things. Uh huh. By whom also he made the world. Okay. Verse 3. Who being the brightness of his glory. Mm -hmm. and express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sin sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high uh -huh. verse 4 being made so much better than the angel as he had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they uh -huh. verse 5 for unto which of the angels said, He at any time, Thou art my son. These days I have begotten thee, and again I will be to the father, to him a father, mm -hmm. and he shall be to me a son. Verse 6. Uh -huh. And again, 
when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he said, and let all the angels of God worship him. Uh -huh. Verse 7. And of all the angels, he said, who maketh his angel spirit as minister a flame of fire. He said he maketh his ministers a flame of fire. Amen. That's you, Sabrina. <laughs> <laughs> He Lord, said he made his angels, what? <laughs> Spirits, you can't see them. And he makes his ministers a flame of fire. And you can't even see the fire unless you got spiritual eyes. Amen. You have to have spiritual eyes to see the fire of God on the people of God. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. Keep going, Mister. Give me one more. Verse eight. But unto the Son he said, "That throne, O God, is forever and ever." Uh huh. It's Jesus. It's sceptical. Sceptical. Sep sep uh huh. Uh, righteousness is the sceptical of that King. Uh huh. Verse nine. What is he saying to us? What is he saying to us, ultra wealthy? <laughs> what is he saying to us? That there ain't no other way but through what? Christ Jesus. Through Christ Jesus. That's what he's saying here. That's all he's giving you right That's now. That's all he's saying. Mm -hmm. That's all he's saying. All these statements, he's That's letting you know that there's no other way but through Christ. Amen. Through Christ. Amen. Not through your Muhammad. You can change your last name, whatever you want to do. Wow. Everything coming through Christ. Amen. That's all right? Amen. That's all right. Keep going. Verse 9. Thou hast love, righteousness, uh -huh. and hatred, iniquity. Uh -huh. Therefore God, even thy God, have anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Uh -huh. Verse 10. How many that he is anointed with that oil of gladness? Amen. Amen. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. How you know you <laughs> got the anointing of gladness? It's our confession. Huh? It's your confession. Yeah. How do you know you got this anointing? I know who's trying to How do you know you got the anointing? It's by the Holy Spirit. You're doing anything on the sun, though. Hmm. Mm. How do you know you got it? Well, the word did say don't fool yourself. Huh? You gotta ask the, the word said don't show fool you. yourself. Huh? Ask him to show you? Yes. What we went on last week about the chastening of the Lord. That everybody needs to. If you doing anything according to the will of God unrighteously, continuously, and not being chastened by the Lord, you are what? Not a son of his. You are none of his. Mm -hmm. You are not of God. Just the other week, the Lord put on me. He said, John, look at all the saints. What do you see? I say, I see the Antichrist. Jesus. I said, huh? The Spirit said, say, I see the Antichrist. I said, God, I'm looking at the saints. He said, but yeah, they Antichrist. I said, well, how are they supposed to be Antichrist? I'm the false prophet and all them people supposed to be Antichrist. He said, no, it's the saints that's the Antichrist. Jesus. Why? Because we are out of order? They're going against Christ. You're going against Christ. So you go against Christ, you become anti-Christ. You're against the will of God. And if you're continuing to do sin, like we taught last week, and not being chastised bad, go ahead. you are none of him. You are not of God. Jesus. Everybody say I got a million dollars. Just say I got a million dollars. I got a million, I got a million dollars. dollars. Do you have it? No. no. So anything can come out your mouth then. <laughs> <laughs> what what about I speak those? <laughs> <laughs> That's not but, but you say you have a million. But do you have what the Lord is saying? You can say anything out your mouth. You can say it. Yeah. 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 The mouth is cut to say anything. Well, you can say anything out your mouth. But you can claim it. Huh? 
You can claim it. You can claim it. <laughs> but if you say you are something, you need to make sure that you are what you say. What you are. Amen. You claim it. If you're going to walk the narrow way, mm -hmm. I said if you're going to walk the narrow way. If. Well, I'm going to say that for myself, that I know I make a mistake uh -huh. every single day. Uh -huh. and something that I do that might not be pleasing to God. That's why he says that uh, this Take yourself and pray each and every day. Uh huh. Because there's something that you might be liking. Uh huh. So that's where he opened up the book for us to, to read, to study, to show ourselves approved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if he can open up the windows of heaven that pour out a blessing to us, even though that we do make mistakes. And we acknowledge, if we acknowledge the mistake, mm -hmm. that's why he said it cease pray and pray. Mm -hmm. And then he said uh, his grace is significant. And that's right. It's sufficient, it's sufficient for us all. For mm -hmm. all of us. His grace is sufficient. For those that love him. That's true. <laughs> I love him. Well, I love his him. grace is sufficient. Well, I love him. I love you all. We are all under grace. We are all under grace. But don't frustrate. He died for all everybody's sins. But you have to accept it, though. I accept it. There's a lot of people that have not accepted the cross yet, even though he died. For they are secrets. Mm -hmm. They ain't accepted it yet, though. What's your question, Miss? Back to what you were talking about speaking not not the truth. The mm -hmm. Bible says you want to speak those things that are not as you want to be. Right. So it's the words. Yes. Everybody speaking in their Yes. Yeah. Speak those things as though they were not. Well, how about speaking, I'm going to quit sinning then? Mm. <laughs> how about speaking, I'm going to quit sinning then? Sit out your mouth. I'm going to quit sinning. Sit out your mouth. Say, I'm going to stop sinning today. You should speak those things as though they were. Your mouth, Dad. I'm gonna stop sinning, Lord. I'm gonna stop sinning, Lord, today. I repent, Lord. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Don't you know ain't got no, we ain't got no shortcuts for you. I can't do it by myself. Want to take a shortcut to the store? Uh oh. We don't got no store here today. Don't deviate for the plan. <laughs> Stay on the plan of God. Minister, keep going, Minister. Hebrew chapter 1, verse 10. And thou, Lord, in the beginning uh -huh. hast laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thy hand. Uh -huh. Verse 11. They shall perish, but thou remainest, remainest, and they all shall wax old as though a garment. Uh -huh. Verse 12. And as, as a vesture shall thou fold them up. You're going to fold us thing up. Mm. Look. When Christ piled them scared, you're going to fold this thing up like this book right here. Jesus. And you better be chained. Mm. <laughs> I know that's right. You're going to change to a change spiritual me, body. You're going to fold us thing up. Change me, oh Lord. And he got two places fighting. The judgment seat of Christ mm. and the white throne seat of judgment. If you don't pick one, one gonna be picked for you. Jesus. One gonna be picked for you. Mm. 
Now speak those things as though they were. You got to <laughs> confess Christ. And then after you confess Christ, walk like Christ. Don't be a what? A hearer only. You got to be a doer of the word of God. Amen. Amen. You got to flee what? Sin. You got to flee sin. Amen. And if not, you got what on your forehead? The mark of the beast. The mark of the beast. You are become a anti-Christ. Jesus. You are against Christ. Mm. Now everybody got a Bible, show me where I'm wrong. Mm. Wait for scripture. We ain't got no keep reading, Mr. Hebrew verse 12. Hebrew verse 12, where we at? Chapter 1. 12 1. As a vexter shall thou fold them up, and they shall be changed. Uh -huh. But thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. Verse 13. But to which of the angels said he, at any time, sat on the right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool? Uh -huh. Verse 14. Are they not all ministering spirit sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Uh huh. In verse 2, chapter 2. Verse 2. Yeah, chapter two. Hebrew chapter 2, verse 2. Mm -hmm. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just but that we recompense, recompense, uh -huh. recompense of reward. Verse 3. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first begin to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. Now, read that one more time, Minister. Make sure everybody clear what we're saying today. We're going through the book of Hebrews for a purpose because this should get you in order. Amen. At Hebrew chapter 2, verse 3. How shall we escape? How shall you escape if we neglect so great salvation? The salvation of Jesus. Christ. What are you trying to escape anyway? Jesus. What are you trying to escape? Jesus. Hell. Mm -hmm. Y'all about to say something or what? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I'm trying to escape hell. Huh? You trying to escape? <laughs> I'm trying to escape hell. You about to press the wall to my other hand call of God. Amen. I'm yeah, praying for real. Huh? Man. And now we're at the end of the grace. Woo! Huh? They said we ran what? The fifth and sixth seal now. Jesus. We're at the end of this thing and you still laid up. Mm. What did that word mean? Which word? Laid up. It's a commitment to God. That what? You're making this commitment so you can get out of what? Fornication. Right? And you don't go get your son every three months and think it's okay. Because you ain't had it a little while. You think it's okay because you ain't did it in a while. I'm still alive. Huh? I'm still alive. <laughs> no, no, Father. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, a lot of the church women said, John, why well, ain't did it like six months? Is it okay? I'm like, no, it's not okay. Ain't never okay. No, Lord Jesus. 
Where we at, man? Hebrew chapter 2, verse 3. We don't lay it up. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, mm -hmm. which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord, and was confirmed to, to us by them that heard him? Uh -huh. Verse 4. Who spoke it? Christ spoke it. It was heard of the people, and they did what? The disciples of Christ went out what? And the gospel go through our what? The whole earth. The whole earth. So don't come up to Christ with no excuses. Mm. Talking about your flesh was weak. Mm. Mm. Or oh, you didn't have enough time. Mm -hmm. Mm. No excuses mm. Mm. at the coming of the Lord. Right? No excuses. Huh? So they're going to be the only thing to take folks to hell. A whole lot of stuff going to take you. Some miracle may go. Wow. Why, Pastor? Huh? Why? Because the Lord said you, um, you met a bear uh, and you got away from it. Why? You met a lion. And you got away from the lion too. Mm -hmm. But you went home, put your hand on the wall, and a spatter bitch. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. And, and so in your righteousness, <laughs> in your righteousness, there's something that the Lord is not pleased with mm -hmm. about you. So you gotta get it right, thank you. That's why you have a daily what? Repentance. Repentance. That's why you got to get that's it right. Why, that's why I was just saying just now, we got to pray every day because there's something that we done done, maybe, you know, not even knowing in our own self. A daily repentance. Daily repentance. It's a turtle walk right here. Huh? It's a turtle walk right here. Daily repentance. And you know why a lot of people tell me they don't want to repent? They said, John, I don't want to repent the way you talk because that sounds like I can't do what I'm I can't do that no more, but I, I want to do that some more. Mm -hmm. Jesus. So it's still going, right? So they say they don't want to repent. Mm -hmm. So they don't want to change. Well, because if you repent, you can't do something yeah, after you repent. God, I want. So that means, that means, uh, huh? Go ahead, Minister. That's verse 4. God also burns them witness, both with signs and wonders, mm -hmm. and with divers miracles. Mm. And gives us the Holy Ghost uh -huh. accordingly, according to His own will. Uh -huh. mm. Verse five: For unto the angels hath He not put in subjection the world to come, whereof we speak. Uh -huh. Verse six: But one in a certain place testified, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man? that thou visitest him. Okay, keep going. Verse 7. Thou madest, thou madest him a little lower than the angel. Uh-huh. And thou crowdest him with glory and honor, uh -huh. and didst, didst set him over the works of thy hand. Uh-huh. Verse 8. Thou hast put all things in subjection unto his feet. Uh -huh. For in that he put all in subjection unto him. Uh -huh. He left nothing that is not but under him. Uh -huh. But now we see not yet all things but under him. Amen. Everything under Christ. Everything put under Christ. Everything. Verse 9. But we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angel uh -huh. for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he by the grace of God should taste death uh -huh. for every man. Jesus. Verse 10. For it became him for whom are whom are oh, all Jesus. things, and by whom are all things, and bringing many sons unto glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. Verse last. Give me one more minister and somebody else. For both the uh, sanctified and they who are sanctified are all of one. Uh huh. 
for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brother. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody else pick me up at chapter 3, verse 6. Okay, I will. Hebrews 3 and 6. Oh, give me one. Hebrews. I'm going to get y'all holy today. And one. Give me one. Amen. Get me holy. Get y'all holy today. Give me get one. Get me holy. Amen. Amen. Word for holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling. Partakers of the heavenly calling. Not the earthly call. Heavenly call. Uh huh. Consider the apostle uh -huh. and high priest of our profession, profession, Christ Jesus. Verse two, who was faithful to him uh -huh. that appointed him, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. Uh -huh. Verse three, for this man was counted worthy. Mm -hmm. of more glory than Moses, uh -huh. in as much as he who had built the house had more honor than mm -hmm. the house. Mm -hmm. Verse 4, for every house is built by some man, but he that built all things uh -huh. is God. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Verse 5, and Moses verily was faithful in all his house uh -huh. as a servant for testimony of those things which were to be uh -huh. spoken after. Verse 6, but Christ as a son over his own house, uh -huh. whose house we are, if we hold faith. If we what? Hold faith. Uh -huh. If we what? Hold faith. If we what? Hold faith. Keep going. Hold faith. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. The confidence uh -huh. and the rejoicing of the hope firm until the end. Until the what? End. Until the what? End. You got the press to the end. Of the <laughs> huh? Amen. Verse 7. Ain't but a few gonna find it though. Amen. Ain't but a few. Lord, let me be amongst the numbers. Huh? Mm -hmm. Jesus. A few folks gonna find it, he said. Woo! So everybody ain't gonna make it. Jesus. What we gonna do about it? Mm. I'm trying to drag them rest on me that day. Why I got time. Drag a few folks in there. Mm, 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 mm. God's eternal folks, Lou John. God tried to drag them in the door. Jesus. <laughs> I'm trying to get them in there. He said, You better get them in there now, then. Yeah, you've been bad foot in the earth. They're trying to get them on me. <laughs> Keep going. Verse 7. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost said, Today, if ye will hear his voice, if you hear woo, his voice, his voice. We're tomorrow. Today. Today. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Lord, have a young give people no options here. Uh, Woo! Y'all give people time to clean up themselves. Uh, right now. It's a right now. You got to do a win. Now. Right Today. now. Today. 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 Might not be no tomorrow for you. Amen. You sitting in hell. Sitting there. Waiting on the judgment seat of Christ. At the white throne seat of judgment, sitting in hell. You thought you had a little bit more time. Mm, they got but nothing. John, you ran the street, you did all of you did now. You want us to change all of a sudden. That's what yeah, they tell me. Today. That's what they tell me. Let me have some more. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 8. Harden not your hearts. Huh? Harden not your heart. You gotta hear what I'm saying then. Mm. He said a word fell on on the ground. Mm. Keep going, Miss. As in the provocation, in the day of temptation, in the wilderness. Verse 9. When your fathers tempted me, provoked me, and saw my works 40 years. Uh -huh. Verse 10. Wherefore I was grieved with that generation uh -huh. and said, They do always error in their heart. Uh -huh. And they have not known my way. They still don't know. Jesus. He said, your fathers did this. And you right behind them. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So your fathers did it. So we still ain't learned nothing. When I sent them around right there 40 years. Mm, mm, mm. Your fathers did it. Mm. 
desantis. Keep going, Miss. In Hebrews verse chapter 3, verse 11. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. He swear back. Swear back. Huh? Say they shall not enter into my rest. What is his rest? Heaven. Huh? In the bosom of God. And all his works. Mm -hmm. No more Sabbath day. No more man don't work, man don't eat. Mm -hmm. They got it mixed up. Look at that. Huh? Mm, Jesus. What at that. You say a man don't work, a man don't eat. Mm. What again? Huh? They don't work, they don't eat. They don't eat the word of God. They don't labor for the word of God. That's why they ain't eating it. Right. They thought it was food. Spiritual. They thought it was fast food. That's what I thought to, to this moment. <laughs> <laughs> to this moment. <laughs> they thought it was fast food they were supposed to work to eat. It was spiritual. Do they supposed to eat? Huh? Do they supposed to? They supposed to eat spiritual. Not natural. You can eat natural. But he talking spiritual right here. He wants you to labor for those words. Jesus. That's why when he was here and the people tried to stone him, when he said, what? Eat my flesh. And the folks tried to stone him when he said that. But he won't talk about eat his physical flesh. He was talking about eat my word. Yeah. Jesus. Amen. Labor for the word. Yeah. So you can make it to the kingdom of God. Amen. This is what you both be doing every day. You want to put in eight hours for somebody else? Put in eight for the Lord. Mm. 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 Bet you won't do that because you ain't going to get paid. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Your mm. payment is the kingdom. Mm. 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 It ain't got no value yes. to you, though. Yes. Yes. Right. No the money. kingdom ain't got no value for you. That's why you put no time in for it. Oh, Jesus. Lord, forget me. You come <laughs> preach a scripture if you wanted to. <coughs> Jump over to um, 512 real quick, man. And then we come right back. Where you at anyway? Wherever you You're on three. Jump to 512. 512, Hebrews 5 12. Jump that real quick. I got it. Hebrews 5 12. For when, for when, for the time you ought to be teachers. You ought to be what? Teachers. You ain't labor though. Keep going. You have need that one teach uh -huh. you again, uh -huh. which be the first principle of the oracles of God. And I become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. I can't give you that too hard right now. Mm, mm, I'm trying to go easy with this stuff now. Like Might choke on you a little bit. Jesus. Jesus. You should be teachers, he's saying. You should have labor for the word of God. You out there working for some food. Talking about a man don't work, a man don't eat. Mm. He's talking spiritual. You yeah, renew your mind spiritual, not carnal. Oh, Jesus. Read that again, minister. For when, for the time ye ought to be teachers. Like right now. Right now. Keep going. Ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principle of the articles of God. And are become such as need of milk and not of strong meat. Can't give it to you. Go back to verse 3. Uh oh. We're on chapter 3. Uh oh. I'm hoping y'all take time later to read the book of Hebrews. I will. It's giving you instructions to the kingdom. We should be already here, he just said. Bob should be teaching us this. We should be out in the street telling folks about this. Tell your cross. 
Showing the what? The right way of God. We still laid up in fornication. Jesus. At the end of grace. I'm scared to sleep with somebody. Me too. I'm scared to sleep with somebody under grace. At the end. I'm scared to death. Why are you ain't scared? I'm scared. 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 i am and departing from the living God. Say it. Mm. Read that again. Get in their spirits though. Hebrews 3 and 12. Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart uh -huh. of unbelief uh -huh. and departing from the living God. Mm. It still ain't get at them. We read scriptures all day. How do we get the stuff in the people, though? How you going to get that out? You got to shake them with a knife or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, huh? Shake you or something with it. <laughs> bet you'll feel it then. <laughs> I bet you'll stop sitting then. Take them, shake you with something. Take them keys for that Cadillac. That's the only thing gonna stop you. You gotta shake you to stop you from sinning. Crazy. Jesus. Use your free will to do it. Then it come out of what? Out of your heart. That's your free will. We're at the end of grace. People think they got another 40 years. Mm, we ain't got. I don't know. We should give me one more minute. Yeah, I think we need to go to that next one. Come on, then. Hebrew 3 and 13. But exhort one another uh -huh. daily uh -huh. while it is called today. Uh -huh. Least any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. You got to help your brothers and sisters. Help them. Daily when you say. Daily. Someone like you got a grab by the collar or something. <laughs> grab by the collar. Like, man, hold on, what are you doing? <laughs> we just come out of church. Get one minute. I want y'all to read this Hebrew, though. Y'all got to get this thing in your you spirit, get, though. You got to get that number 14 out before you close, though. You got to get this thing in your spirit. Yeah. We need the whole book in you. Woo! Hallelujah! Need the whole book in you. Thank you, Lord. So you can stop doing one scripture. Well, not the whole book in you. The whole book. <laughs> then I know you're going to glory. Amen. Woo! Huh? Going to glory then? Give me one more. One more. Hebrews 3 and 14. For we are made partakers uh -huh. of Christ. If we hold the beginning of our confidence, uh -huh. stand fast until the end. If you hold it. If. Get no God. Simple stuff for grown folks. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Jesus. That's right. Pre K. That's right. The children understand. They laugh at Yeah. Yeah. They see the word if. Yeah. Folks can't figure it out though. Yeah. <laughs> they don't get it. You just said you ought to be teaching. We got to teach you again. All over again. All over again. Can he get the if out? If. Read it one more time. Whoa. Whoa. For we right. are made partakers of Christ. Uh huh. If we hold the beginning of our confidence, stand fast until the end. And be steadfast with it. Look at this. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
You ain't jump going there in that narrow way now, boy. You just show me. I'm going to that narrow way after the Jump going there in that narrow way now, boy. <laughs> Trying to get to Christ. I got a question. What's the question? This is my question. My question is, I, we, we people of God, right? Uh huh. Uh-huh. And so our job is to witness the word of God to the people. Right. 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 So, right. so how do we, how do we give the people salvation? Without explaining it to them the damnation. That's my question. And you give them salvation? Yeah, without the damnation, because you know, it's a lot of folks giving them the salvation uh-huh. part of the word, but they don't uh-huh. want to give them the damnation part of the word uh-huh. so that they can understand why they need the salvation. Uh-huh. Blessings and cursings. Uh-huh. We talk about it all the time. So well, I hope that's what we're doing now. I'm trying to get y'all the rough stuff. Mm-hmm. No, like, get some of the rough stuff. I'm talking, talking about, first. I'm talking about going way back. Like, uh-huh. way back, starting mm-hmm. from the first page, and really get deep into detail and explain the why this stuff occurred. Okay, I'm going to answer that to you. Uh, go ahead, now, what you saying? Uh, well, when my mama and my dad talked to me when I was eight years old, <clears throat> they said, you got to learn how to read ABC and everything, put it like a puzzle. Uh-huh. And uh, I said, put it like a puzzle? Yeah. So when I get I was a baby, I gave you milk and mm-hmm. water and food. Right. I can't give you no chicken because uh-huh. you're a baby. Right. Right? Right. So mama, I said, Mama, but why can't I have a chicken? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can choke. Mm-hmm. You're not ready. You're not ready. Uh-huh. Not ready. Uh-huh. And so that's why I give you the milk. Uh-huh. See what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah, if, if I give you a little, a little chicken, mm-hmm. then you will choke. Uh-huh. But like you eat uh, fried chicken, fish, bread, and everything, <laughs> you get what? You will choke. You get choke. So, yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's, well, your, that's your damn nation you're talking about. You're right, baby. Huh? Yeah. Back, back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that time. I mean, my mother, my mother didn't choke. My mother didn't choke all of us down and uh-huh. all of us on the food. She said, eat, eat with milk and bread. Right. right. You learn. Right. You learn. Right. You learn. Right. Mm-hmm. You learn. Like you fish, mm-hmm. bread, yeah. chicken, yeah. you get took on off. Yeah, so right. to ask you your question, she That's said she. that <laughs> you can't give you meat before you give you milk. You're talking yeah. about the people in the street. So in other words, what you're saying that people right. are giving them what they should do, but they ain't told them why they're doing what they're doing. See, for one thing, the word say that we that if you heard God's word, uh-huh. you come in by the hearing of the word. If they uh-huh. if their heart is not open to hear the word, then they're not gonna come in. <laughs> but God got a set time for each and every one of us to come in. I'm speaking on like I right, say for this is me. Y'all already in here congregating. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you the rough stuff. Oh, 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 you tell me give you rough stuff. Don't oh, 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 oh. want it that. <laughs> That's what I want because I'm trying to get to a uh-huh. point. It's a point that I'm trying to okay. get to. Okay. You know what I'm right. So me coming through this door, y'all uh-huh. already in here uh-huh. congregating. So y'all, mm-hmm. y'all have some right. type of knowledge of who God is. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Me, I'm on the outside looking in, so I can mm-hmm. see it's a building with cars here. So I come right. through the door and hear what y'all saying. You know what I'm saying? And what you saying about the entrance? Now I might have the entrance, but mm-hmm. what I'm saying is. You expecting this person to change their life? Uh-huh. Why just give them pause? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Right. They should know from the beginning mm-hmm. what happened, mm-hmm. why it got here, and what must they do if they want to survive after. That's right. why everybody can't handle the big chunks. That's, what, that's why we was talking about they can't have the big chunks. Yeah. So you the reason why I say that because I got friends that I talk to every day. Mm-hmm. Right. They have people that they talk to. Right. Every day you got it's like a uh, youth thing that we have going on. Right. And. Mm-hmm. Coming from the younger generation, I'm about 29 in a couple weeks, but okay. coming from my age and down, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, this is what they saying, you know what I'm saying, you can preach it on salvation, right. but that's not going to do it no more, this is like a you sin to believe in mm-hmm. generation now, you got to sin to believe, right. if I told you your car was on fire, would you believe me or would you go see if your car on fire, you're going to go out there and see if your car on fire, you know what I'm saying, right. Right. you're not going to just take what I'm saying, you're going to go out there, but that's your car, that's, that's what right. I'm saying, so, how can we expect for them to come to salvation if we don't let them know why the salvation is needed? Uh-huh. I, I, know, I know you're going to answer, but let Go me ahead. just tell this right here. Because uh, Jesus told Donna Thomas. Yeah. Donna Thomas said, I can't believe it because yeah. I didn't see Jesus. Yeah. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. Mm-hmm. But Jesus told Donna Thomas, say, for you, here are my hands with the holes in them. Yeah. Here are my sides with the cut in 
take up my feet with the holes in it. But I can hope that the people in the world that have believed me yeah. just from the word that I give. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, so I you're, not gonna all, you're not going to always get everything you need in one second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to get a little something mm -hmm. and build up on it. Because you didn't get 29 today. It took you 29 years to get 29. Mm -hmm. 20. yeah, I say that because the first two verses of the Bible mm -hmm. even had me in question at one mm -hmm. point. Right. It'll tell you in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Uh -huh. Alright, then it skipped, it seemed like, it seemed like it skipped a whole lot of stuff that happened. It skipped a whole lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that happened in the hey. course of that time. It and I went to it saying that the earth was without form and void. Okay, what happened? Right. You know what I'm saying? What happened? Because people don't understand. Right. So when they get to talking about Adam and Eve, <clears throat> they get confused. Come so on, You know what I'm saying? Because they right. don't understand that it was already a generation before Adam to me anyway. Uh -huh. I mean, that's, right. that's why he destroyed the world. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, that's what happened became without form and void. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I don't know. It's deep, man. I've been getting uh -huh. deep with this on. Yeah. But the thing, the thing about that, but the thing about that, what Jesus said is that you you need not worry yourself with all that. Mm -hmm. That's not what you need to worry yourself with, yeah. because none of us know the mystery of the Lord. But what He said for us to worry ourselves with is believing in on Him, mm -hmm. following His will, keeping yeah. your life in His life. But so He also can, says, "Search the Scriptures, but the Scriptures yeah. gonna teach you." Yeah. But in the scriptures, I like mm -hmm. I was telling my woman, this is a King James version Bible. Right. Mm -hmm. But you know they got different type of Bibles. They got a Gideon Bible, they got a Solomon Bible, you know what I'm saying? Right. NIV, NLT, you know what I'm saying? They got all these different all types of Bibles. Right. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is, you know what I'm saying, when people read these Bibles that mm -hmm. never looked at a Bible before, we expecting this person to make this life change reading this mm -hmm. Bible. Uh -huh. They all say the same thing, and I just say it myself when I read it. I get mm -hmm. confused. Right. Mm -hmm. Until I got this book right here, every Bible that I picked up, I got confused reading it. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Why? Mm -hmm. But you because will. Because when you speak truth, you will because, you truth now, but truth, you will in the beginning. Confirm yourself. Right. But you will in the beginning because right now your your spirit is open. You yeah. got a hunger and a thirst, yeah. and then you want to know everything from the beginning to the end. How come God? How come God? But that ain't what God wants us to wear ourselves with. What he wants us to wear ourselves with is knowing that he is the father. But could that and be the, the only could way that to come through here he is through the son. Could that be the cause why they say the Could that be the cause? What? Say it again. Could they be the cause why they lose their soul? He said majority of the world gonna gonna lose their soul. And could mm -hmm. that be that cause right there? That's yeah. not the cause because of they why. Don't, they, don't, they don't understand. You know what I'm saying? No, because you know what? Because even like with me. I'm 54 years old. I've been in and out this Bible all my life from, from childhood to adulthood. I'd have been in, I'd have been out, I've been in, I'd have been out. And most mostly I say, God, no, well, what is it that you want me to understand? Mm -hmm. Guess what? He don't need me to worry about what I need to understand. All yeah. I need to know that Jesus died on that mm -hmm. cross for Amen. me. Yeah. And he is my soul salvation. And I'm falling after him in order to get to that king. So makes, much in this simple yeah, well, six books. That we're never going to learn or understand. Yeah, but whatever the Lord put in your spirit to do. Yes, that was all about to get to the path. You know what I'm saying? Now, whatever he put in your spirit to do, that's your portion of your cross to tell. Because see, when I go, when I come in here, I teach whole totally different what I teach in the street. When I go in the streets, I'm telling you about, like you said, what happened. You can talk about the grace, but the grace is keeping you from this right here, what used to happen here. Yeah. They used to personally kill you. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. They ain't caring about whether you knew about it or not. They will personally kill, kill you. you. Mm -hmm. They don't care about you learning. And then you also got to remember the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of God will lead you in all truth. Right. And, all truth. and the Lord will give you what you need to have when you need to have it. Yeah. You know, as he as you continue to build yourself up in the body of Christ, and you begin to build your faith up, uh -huh. you know, because like Sister Sabrina was just saying, Minister Sabrina was just saying, you know, Thomas Sabrina. said he um he didn't believe, didn't believe. he had to see, yes. but faith is the substance of things hoped for, oh, right. the evidence right. of things right. not seen. Right. So the Lord says, greater would be the faith of those who believe mm -hmm. that have not, not seen. seen. Right. Right. So you just gotta keep getting fed. Right. See, see, in the Old Testament, they will personally come out and kill, kill you. you. In the end, they're gonna come and personally kill you again. Jesus. But it's gonna be the angels of God. Mm -hmm. They're gonna cut you what? 
a something. They're going to clean the earth. And then he said, going to let what? The birds eat you. That what he said? You're going to clean it up again. You're going to put no blood on your hand. This time, let the angels do it. You're going to clean your house with you. So if you only heard it, Oh, we don't, that's what I'm saying. We don't give you no excuses. We know you have heard the word of God. No excuses. The gospel had went throughout the whole earth. And then the end will come. Yes, Lord. Right? You're going to clean your house. Any more questions? What's your question? Matt, <laughs> I mean, you tell me. No. He even here said, uh, my daughter, uh -huh. she's just disabled. My Amen. daughter's disabled like me. All is well. All is well. <laughs> and, um, how you say it? How you say it? When our pastor teach us, you uh -huh. know, Mark, I think Mark, I think, what's Mark? What is Mark? Uh -huh. Mark. Which one are you talking about? Which one are you talking about? We get, uh, we set Christ, you know, I say it. Romans, Romans 10 and 9. Romans 10 and 9. Romans 10 and 9, we do the second of Jesus Christ. Make, 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 make. Romans 10 and 9. Romans 10 and 9. And uh, she asked me, she said, Mama, I was listening to the pastor this morning. Mm -hmm. Not this morning, this evening. Mm -hmm. And uh, he always said the same, every day, he said the same thing. And I said, now you got to take it in when the pastor says something. Right. That's all swine. And right. don't take it in. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, she said, he said, confess. What does confess mean, Mom? Mm -hmm. this, this, this little lady, when she was, uh, she joined eight then. Mm -hmm. When she was, uh, I know, when she was, um, when the, my, my cousin is like this. Uh -huh. But my mama talked to me. Mm -hmm. How could I keep it in for her? Uh -huh. This is my question. Right. I just I listen to the pastor every mm -hmm. Sunday. Right. We last week. But how could I keep her saying one of things? Uh-huh. You you read between last? Right. Right. Cussing, fighting, cussing, mm -hmm. fighting. Right. Well, well that's what we said, what you were just saying about her being disabled. Yeah. But you only see in that in the flesh though. In the flesh. But the spirit is not disabled. Right. So that's how she understands these God. things through the spirit. She of prays, God. Praise she prays God. God. Right. She shouts, she's, she's, shout, she's singing, uh -huh. and everything, but she's cussing. Yeah. So you know the devil tells you. And I and I and I try to respect the person. Uh -huh. Don't if you don't see me cussing, uh-huh. Don't you cuss. Right. If you don't see me stealing, uh -huh. don't you steal it. Uh-huh. So I mean and then I mean, one day, you know man, that cutting. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said how can I tell this girl? It's like, cut. Uh -huh. You know? Mm -hmm. Cause Cause he's grateful. And he said, pray for uh -huh. I mean, pray for her. Continue. And he's going to do the worst of us. He got worse. Uh -huh. He got worse. Uh -huh. And got worse. Uh -huh. So, look, I got a belt. He got a belt. I got the spot swap. Uh -huh. And I said, he said, pray for uh -huh. I keep on praying. Keep on praying, Mama. And that thing I know, I know, here her nurse come. After Susie, I'm holding. Mm -hmm. I don't want no way I'm holding. Well, I'm here cussing at my house. Mm -hmm. My whole house will be holding. Mm -hmm. That means you too. Uh -huh. Huh? Hey. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord, God. Bless him. We took the same come. I need to go too. Thank you, come. Praise him. Cast <laughs> all them demons out. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Mark of God right. today. We are you get the oh, yeah. mark of God on your Thank forehead you. today. Yeah. You get the mark yeah. of God. Yeah. I'm going to drag them all yeah. into the kingdom. Yes, Lord. I'm going to drag them yeah. all into the kingdom of God. Amen. I'm going to drag them all into the kingdom. All into the kingdom. Bless Jesus. Praise his holy name. Yes. Yes. All the spirits of us. Glory to the Almighty God. Praise his holy name. Praise him. 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 Praise him.
Going to cast them off today. Bless the Lord God. Going to cast them out today. Bless the Lord Glory God. Glory to the Almighty God. Bless the Lord Praise God. Praise His Holy Name. Bless the Lord God. Amen. Glory to the Almighty God. Bless the Lord God. Cast all them demons off. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Huh? Thank you. Gonna drag all of them into the kingdom. You you go. Go. Praise ye the Lord. Give us a prayer, Minister Supreme. Pray for us, Minister Supreme. Pray for us, Minister Supreme. Let us all stand. Lord, we thank you, Father God. Pray for us. Lord, we come unto you as humbly as we know how, Father God. Amen. Glory. We're thanksgiving in our hearts, Father. Amen. Thank you. Believing that you are God and God alone, Father God. Thank you. That you don't need no help from us, Father God. Amen. Father God, we know that you sit up high, Lord Jesus. Amen. And you look down low, Father God. Father God, we know that all mercy and grace come from you, Father God. Lord, we know we nothing without you, Father God. Amen. Thank you. Lord, we know we need you in our lives, Father God. We need your blessings upon us, Father God. Because we cannot walk without you, Father God. Lord, we kind of find out that this is a lonely single walk, Father God. And only you can bless us with all the gifts of your glory. In Jesus' precious holy name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Glory. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. 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 Glory, Jesus. Glory, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Father God. Oh, merciful Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your word, Father God. Because your blessing is sufficient for us all, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Minister, you want to close us, Minister? Thank you, Lord God. You want to close us? I told y'all I'll be a quick day. Amen. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Oh, you gotta take the offering up. Bless you, Jesus. Bless you. We'll pray you. we'll take the offering up going out there. Okay. All right. I have a question. Yes, sir. I know it ain't Hebrew, but I have been asking my, I have asked, because I have talked to Vangel's blood work about this, you know. Amen. You no, know, I'm a godly man. Amen. You know, I love God to death. Amen. But I hear, you know, all the cops there always telling you how good God is. Right. And if you don't do so and so, you're going to hell. Mm -hmm. Why they don't preach on how hell is? Right. To remind them and let them know if they don't turn their soul over to God, right. where they're going. Right. I have asked two, three preachers that. Uh huh. But I never got an answer from them. You know what I just saw? You know. I just saw your assignment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's your assignment. <laughs> that's right. your assignment. Oh, just I, like I, him. Okay. What he was saying, that's, that's his assignment. assignment. You, know? you know why? Because the spirit in him just say that. The spirit. I, you know? The spirit. That's, that's your assignment now. I done asked. You know, but uh -huh. they, won't, they won't give me no answer. All uh -huh. they'll tell me is I'll get back with you on it. Right. Hmm. You know, but so but how I see, you know, people, you telling them how good hell, heaven is, uh -huh. all this, but you're not telling them how bad hell is. Right. So all they're looking at is, I can mess up, right. you know, right. and, get and repent, and I can repent, right. and I'm going to heaven, right. you know, but right. not repenting, they don't know what in life in store for them right. down there, you're not told people, you know, mm -hmm. at first, I was scared to go into Revelation, right. but when I would come to my grandma say, you know, right. when you go into Revelation, you're going to read some stuff that going to scare you, you, say you, yeah. you know, right. but as I went going on, I said, well, I know how good God is. Right. You gon' keep you tell me about the right. curly gates and the street paved with gold and uh -huh. the milk and honey. Right. But you're not telling me what down there if I don't make it up there. Right. See? We don't want to know. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's undescribable. No. See, then I done read through Revelation and stuff, uh -huh. and I done found out how he is. Yeah, we don't want to be there now. Yeah, I done been there. I don't want to go there. You know? Yeah, we don't That's why there. I had preached a sermon one time. Uh, uh -huh. What? In hell, do you want? Right. You know? <laughs> because people don't, they don't, they, they, they don't want it, because they think it's all fellowship they, and they, stuff they when they go there. They don't think it's serious. You know? They don't think it's serious. But it's not no fellowship in right. there. That's your ministry. You know? You know? That's going to be your ministry. The I have word says over and over again, there will be weeping and, and national tea. 
Yeah. I'm weeping and that's enough to say this with that question. Oh, late said, late didn't, didn't Jesus tell Abraham to let him go back so he could tell his brothers about uh -huh. hell? Right. And he and could he just get a little drip of water, water. It was on a the tip man. of his tongue? Uh -huh. A rich man. That's yeah. a story. And that's a rich man. He was a rich man. Uh -huh. And um if you didn't get a revelation from that, uh -huh. then what, you, what more do you need? Right. <laughs> what more do you need? So right. that's why God's going to tell you it's not that don't nobody don't know. Uh -huh. It's the lack of knowledge because you, didn't re you refuse to keep that in your spirit in which right. you have already heard. Amen, you don't need to hear earth side to know uh -huh. that hell do exist. You right. have heard it at some point in time in your life. Right. And y'all come back next week so we're going to finish up those Hebrews. Yep. Amen. We'll yeah. right, I'm gonna close out real quick. Amen. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, I don't pray it off real quick too. Somebody want to pray it off? Do you want me want to just take it up? Or we can pray over. Then we can take it up. Okay. She said she You want to pray it off? Go ahead. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, bless the palm of His hand and do it. See, oh God, Thank bless our body, oh God, touch the way down, God. Bless your money and um, pocketbooks. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord God, right now, Lord God, we ask that your Holy Ghost Spirit, Lord God, will move upon the people, Lord God. All those that are assembled here today, Lord God, all those that wanted to be here and could not make it, Lord God. We ask, Lord, right now, Lord God, that you will lead them, Lord God, down the narrow way and not the wide way. Lord God, last but not least, Lord God, we ask that you will cast all of their sins right now, Lord God, into the sea of forgiveness and remember them no more. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord.